Speed it up, buddy. All right, last night was, of course, New Year's Eve. Huge party night everywhere. It's the party night of the year. And, um, well, I'm going to be honest. I don't talk much about my personal life because it's pretty sordid. But, uh, <laughs> but I had a New Year's Eve party last night. And if I do say so myself, it was fan-freaking-tastic. <laughs> it was an amazing party. It was an insane party. You can back me up. Our band leader, Max Weinberg, stopped by. Wasn't that some party? Yeah, what a, what a time. Whoa. Okay, you just... You... <laughs> now, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The way you were acting, now everyone thinks that you and I did it or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just to say that we didn't. <laughs> Just a simple, like, yeah, that was right, but that kind of, oh, yeah. That's exactly the kind of time yeah. it was. No, our announcer, Joel Goddard, also stopped by uh, for the party, and uh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. Okay, settle down, Joel. Those horse tranquilizers are just kicking in for Joel. Anyway, we took a lot of pictures of this party last night, because it was a crazy party. And I took it to a one-hour photo hut. They're true to their word. An hour later, the photos were done. And uh, I, these are probably going to be in the Enquirer any day now. You know, that's how crazy the, you know, it, it was. But I thought, why not just, why hug them to myself? Why just send them right to the Enquirer? Why don't we beat them all to the punch and show them right now on the show? Do you want to see these pictures? It's, pretty, it's a little something I call New Year's Eve party photos. This is going to be fun. Yeah, it's good. First of all, I, uh, I hosted the party this year at my swanky, luxurious apartment <laughs> on Manhattan's Upper West Side. There it is right there. Beautiful place. I decorated it myself. It took about, that's about 11 minutes. Uh, <laughs> naturally, I wore my very best tuxedo. I wanted to look good. Still fits. That's the, <laughs> that's the tuxedo I wore when I didn't go to the prom. Watch Star Wars instead. Uh, I ordered up a great big bag of champagne. People love their champagne. And cooked up the dish I'm known for, chili fish. That's... <laughs> Folks, so you've had chili fish with a bag of champagne you haven't lived. Then I sat back and waited for my friends to arrive. Well, none of them made it, but Max and Joel did show up. There they are. And uh, that's how they enter a room. <laughs> they actually say ta-da when they walk into a room. I noticed that they hadn't dressed up for the party. I politely told Max that I wished he'd worn something nicer. And I punched Joel in the face. <laughs> Joel said, what the hell? Why'd you punch me and not Max? And I said, because you're old and can't fight back. <laughs> to prove me wrong, Joel took a swing at me and missed completely. <laughs> and crashed face first into the coffee table. <laughs> so naturally, while he was down, I kicked Joel in the ribs. <laughs> and Joel pathetically promised to dress up next time. Well, then I said, that's okay, I forgive you, let's start the party. <laughs> I suggested we begin by making some New Year's resolutions. I resolved to reread all of Danielle Steele's novels. <laughs> Don't laugh until you've tried them. Max promised to cut back on nitrous oxide. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Joel vowed to give up Asian men. But then Joel pointed out that it wasn't the new year yet. <laughs> and Joel placed an order at Tokyo Ted's escort service. <laughs> well, anyway, those things take time. So I decided I wanted to get the party going. So I brought out the old bag of champagne. <laughs> Max yelled at me saying, I'm not gonna eat champagne out of a bag. And I said, oh, you eat champagne? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Max said, you know what I meant. And I said, yeah, I know what you meant. You eat champagne. <laughs> Max looked like he was about to say something else, but then just started crying. <laughs> Joel then said, don't worry, Max. I brought a bottle of real champagne. But when he went to open it, the cork shot Max's eye out. <laughs> By the way, I want to say I have an amazing camera. <laughs> it catches the action perfectly. The cork, the eye, really beautiful stuff. <laughs> Max didn't care. He loved the champagne. <laughs> As the drinking began, I put on some music and we started to dance. I did my favorite, the robot. Max did some break dancing. And Joel did a strip tease. <laughs> Look, if you people would rather not see these, you know. All right, then. Anyway, Joel got all the way down to a red shiny thong. Then turned around to reveal he has two ass cracks. Pretty amazing. This is not the way to start the new year. <laughs> I suddenly realized it was almost midnight and I wasn't... Oh, God, change that. There we go. <laughs> Don't surprise me with that one ever again. I suddenly realized it was almost midnight and I wasn't drunk yet. I didn't think the champagne would work fast enough, so I spiked it with Jack Daniels. <laughs> and some cool mint Listerine. <laughs> then I chugged the whole bag. Well, folks, I instantly began hallucinating. I even thought a mongoose was attacking my nose. So I shot him off. I was so relieved that I had taken care of the problem. Max then turned on the TV to watch the New Year's countdown. But it was already 1224. Max got so angry, he kicked in the television and was electrocuted. <laughs> Suddenly, Joel's Asian hooker arrived. <laughs> I reminded Joel about his resolution to give up Asian men. But it was too late, they were already in a Cub Scout sleeping bag. <laughs> it was the best New Year's ever. Some good times. Real good times, right? Good times. All right, everybody, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, Brian Williams is here. He's a good man. Stick